Hello everybody, welcome to my Halloween tutorial. Um, so first I'm starting off by using a primer on my skin so I'm going to be putting loads of products on. Then I'm using some foundation, this is MAC Studio Sculpt. And I'm just going to cover my face, I'm going to do quite a heavy coverage because um, it's supposed to kind of look like a cartoon character. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going to be heavy. Then I'm just brushing out my eyebrows, I'm not going to do my eyebrows, there's no point because we're going to cover them up anyway. So they're going to look a bit dodge for a while. Then I'm going to use my concealer, this is from MAC, but you can use any concealer and I'm just doing my usual covering up my dark circles and dark patches on my face and again quite heavy coverage. Then I'm using my um, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm using the Brow Bone Light Vanilla shade and I'm using that all over the eyelid, all the way up to the eyebrow. I notice I do that quite a lot in my tutorials but it's just going to give a light even base to the eye. Then I'm using the Definer colour which is like a bronzy, slightly, slightly purple shade. And I'm just gonna line the lash line. Um, and this is gonna give it a little bit of a softer look when I go to line it with liner. Then I'm using it also in my crease as a kind of line, again, before I line properly. Bringing it in a bit in the inner corners. Then I'm using a pencil brush, I think this is from Sigma. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit because obviously it's a bit um, rough and ready looking. This is going to look a little bit messy for quite a while, but bear with me, hopefully at the end it will kind of all tie together. So then I'm using some darker purples, any you have will do. And I'm going to kind of fill in the eyelid, and also with this lighter colour which is Stars and Rockets from MAC, it's, it's an amazing colour. So I'm just going to add in some purple to my eyes. I wanted to add purple because I think it goes with the whole comic book kind of woman vibe, I don't know why, but... Yeah, then I'm going to blend that out with my Sigma brush and I'm taking my MAC Fluid Line Gel Liner and I'm going to line along my lash line and then also I'm going to line the crease of the eye just so it looks really, really defined and it looks kind of unreal. I wouldn't really wear this out, <laughs> this look. I bring it all the way in, like extend it almost like a cat eye an actual cat eye, like a tiger or something. So as I said, I'm also lining the crease, kind of where your crease would fall, but here it's a little bit on top of my natural crease. I think this gives a really kind of extra dram dramatic look to what could be like a villain look. And she is a villain, so there you go. <laughs> then I'm using my mascara, this is just Maybelline mascara, um, and then I'm going to apply false lashes after that. Oh, I'm also going to do my bottom lashes. I don't always do this, but um, it was on the image I was working from and oh, so I thought I'd do it. Then I went in with my soft coal liner from Rimmel just because I thought the gel liner didn't give the effect I wanted. It wasn't black enough so I just added some coal. I mean I used these lashes and I'm just applying them and then while the lash glue is drying I put on my wig. Here we go. It looks really really orange in this camera. It's a little bit more red in real life but I'm just trying to sort it out then I'm going in with my powder um, use any powder again again quite heavy and quite full coverage I don't want any blemishes showing through I want it to look perfect I'm using MAC luster drops I'm gonna add a little bit more dimension back into my face as it was very very matte from the powder so I'm highlighting cheekbones top of the nose um, my cupid's bow area under the mouth I'm not sure why I've done that but there you go um, Coralista blush, any, any like pinky or reddy, any colour you want blush really you can use. Um, a Sigma blush brush and I'm just applying that. And then I wanted to contour so I've got my sleek contour kit here and um, I smash the brush and then just apply it into the hollows of my cheekbones. Okay, after you've done that, you want to grab your Poison Ivy leafy, crazy, amazing eyebrows. I'm going to show you how I made mine. So I just started off with a piece of kind of thin cardboard. If you can, try and get a piece of foam because they'll look a lot better on the face. But um, this was kind of a little bit last minute. So I just sketched out my own um, shapes of the leaves that I was going to then stick together afterwards. I went from a picture of Kim Kardashian's um, Poison Ivy look but I think it's also similar to the Tim Burton, the Batman film, Poison Ivy as well. So that's what it should look like once you've done cutting them out. As they're obviously green, I just grabbed this 
hair colour spray, I don't even know, it's from a fancy dress shop and I just thought I'd hope for the best and spray them with that. I didn't know if it would work but it actually did. So if you don't have paint spray you can use this. So I just sprayed everyone individually. Then I got some glitter. I actually wanted just dry glitter but the gel worked out as well. And I kind of painted on um, a more defined leaf look. So from further away they'll look a little bit more like leaves. Then apply them to your face, your two eyebrows, using surgical tape or glue or anything that you think might work. These were tricky to apply on, but once they're on, they kind of stayed there. It was quite good. And then I'm going to move on to the lips. I've got this Rimmel lip pencil. I think it's called Tiramisu, but just grab any kind of slightly darker than your natural lip colour. Color just to define your lips a bit more, they'll make them look a little bit fuller. Then I've got my NYX Soft Matte Lip, lip Creme in Antwerp, but again use any kind of darker natural lip colour. A Barry M Lip Gloss, this one smells so nice, I don't know what it's called but it smells like toffees, just to give your lips a 3D look. I had this leafy reef thing <laughs> just in case I needed it and I thought you can always add it if you wanted to but I didn't put it on my head like that, I used it later. This is the completed look, I hope you like it, it's kind of a last minute one, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, also, sorry about all the posing, um, Halloween gets me a bit excited, but anyway, happy Halloween!